What's going on everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I know you love it when I get right into the videos because you have expressed it in the comments numerous times before and I truly value your time, but there are just a couple things that we have got to talk about really quickly. One, thank you for letting me know about my microphone. I apologize. I actually think it was a USB-C connector that I replaced. I do have a microphone, another microphone on order because this one is a little bit older. Second thing I wanna talk about guys is all of the scammers that are happening in the comments. Anything that I reply on or post on, my name will be highlighted, all right? If you are new to YouTube, okay? If you see a comment that literally does not look like somebody who speaks the English language wrote it, use your own common sense to be able to figure this out and don't fall for these scams. Myself and many other YouTubers are really trying to combat all these scammers. However, as you can see, we have not had much success as of lately. Last thing I want to talk about, guys, on my channel, I try really hard never to tell people what to do. I always try to give you just a different perspective and what my view or what my point on a certain stock or action or event going on is. However, there's been a lot of scammers posting about Robinhood, promoting Robinhood in the comments. And if you're new to investing or you've only been investing for a little while, I'm actually going to tell you what to do here. Get off of Robinhood, okay? It is not a solid platform. A lot of their actions have been very sketchy as of lately. If you're sucked into it because of the ease of use, I promise you there are training tutorials out there to use every other brokerage you can imagine. And we have a huge community of apes that would be more than willing to help you figure out how to use another platform to get off of Robinhood, guys. Okay, so don't fall for those comments, please. Now, let's get into the video, guys. First off, this is what I am talking about. AMC Entertainment Holdings rescheduled its annual meeting that was supposed to happen today. Now, I'm going to talk about what they had said. This comes from their website, although I'm reading it off of Yahoo right now. It announced that its board of directors has postponed the 2021 annual meeting of stockholders that was previously supposed to be held today. The date change will provide additional time for its millions of current individual shareholders to have their voices heard and more time to cast ballots on important shareholder matters. So, as I'm reading this, I'm thinking, okay, well, the board did not get what they wanted. A couple things. One, either certain things that they wanted a yes to were voted no, or not. they didn't get a high enough percentage of individuals to vote. Therefore, the, you know, the results would not be able to come to fruition. Lastly, I do want to talk about the 500 million share offering. Adam Aaron had or posted that he took it off the table. He filed it and everything, and it kind of seem, it seems to think that the board obviously had to have been behind that or else he wouldn't have done it. So I don't think that's an issue here. The other part of my thinking also thinks about GameStop when GameStop was soaring to $300, $400 a share. All of its executives and boards, nobody made a comment about what was going on. And I feel like they didn't want to get in, in, in the middle between the retail and institutional side as the SEC was planted right there in the middle. They kind of just wanted to stay out of it. That could be it. Although Adam did have a, you know, a long interview with Trey, talked about AMC as a company, talked about him as a leader, okay, and everything else that was going on. So I'm still up in the air about that. However, I don't think the 500 million share... Uh, and the board not approving it, okay, or not wanting that to happen has anything to do with it, guys, okay? Next thing I do want to talk about is earnings are still happening on Thursday, and the earnings call will happen. If you're new to investing, guys, the information and the future outlook on those earnings calls most of the time will outweigh the actual metrics. A lot of times, the metrics, okay, um, and the earnings per share and the revenue, it's already priced into the share price. It's where their future outlooks, any new products, any new, anything new, any new acquisitions, any big news that's happening, that's what is going to be talked about. They're projecting to report earnings of negative $1.15 per share, which would represent a year over year growth of 48%. Obviously, net sales, $153 million, down 84% because shit, they're still closed. Lastly, guys, I do want to say this. I'm going to make another video today talking about Janet Yellen saying that interest rates may need to rise uh, modestly to help combat some inflation 
Okay, I'm going to make another video about it. However, the market is down as a whole very bad today because of this. And AMC is continuing to fall, fall victim along with the short selling. All right. Um, if you're new to investing, guys, this is very important. There's a, a an old motto that goes about investing in the stock market. Okay, it's called don't fight the Fed. And uh, like I said, I'm going to make another video later on talking all about it uh, and, and what the future outlook for the rest of 2020, 21, 2021 is, guys. So stick around. Um, Lastly, guys, we have more 13F filings. Uh, institutions are continuing to add to their positions. So I maintain bullish on this. Let's take one last look at the charts. I will say this. We are bouncing off this line, the support line. All right, of that 9. What did I make this at? 9.11, I believe. 9, 9.09, I believe I made it at. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. If you look at the five-day, we are in continual sell-off. Go back to the 30-day, and you have a strong support. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven touch points. And it went all the way back to bounce off that we have had, I believe it's probably a 30, you know, I don't know, 25% sell off from the high of, of that 12, 15, 12, 20 range, guys. So we're going to see exactly where it goes. Like I said, the shorts are hammering. They've been hammering us all week. Okay. You check out iBorrowDesk and Fintel, and it still says there are shares available to short. Obviously, guys, that information has been wildly skewed over the last couple months however it's still amazing that they even post that there are uh available shares to short okay i hope people are not trying to you know um ditch this as they feel because like i said this continues just just to fall down and there were also other youtubers who never cover amc were actually covering amc as some of their top stocks to buy in may because it's a perfectly set up for a recovery replay so guys stick around uh, you know, hang tight through this. I am going to continue to post any information I hear about the shareholders meeting. And that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.